वेलकम टू द टेस्ट प्रेप कार्ड चैनल दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी ऑन द टॉपिक कीम एग्जामिनेशन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी जनरली फोकसिंग ऑन द आस्पेक्ट्स रिलेटेड टू एन आर आईज इन द कीम एग्जामिनेशन सो द टॉपिक्स विच विल कवर इंक्लूड वट इज द एन आर आई कोटा इन कीम वट इज द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फॉर एन आर आईज इन कीम एंड फाइनली वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फी स्ट्रक्चर फॉर द इंजीनियरिंग कोर्सेज इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कॉलेजेज अंडर कीम एग्जामिनेशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द मेन टॉपिक लेट मी गिव यू अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ कीम एग्जामिनेशन सो दैट यू जस्ट गेट एन आइडिया दैट वट इज कीम एंड फॉर द कॉलेज ऑफ विच स्टेट इट इज कंडक्टेड सो कीम जनरली स्टैंड फॉर केरला इंजीनियरिंग एग्रीकल्चर मेडिकल सो इट इज अ जनरल अंडर ग्रेजुएट लेवल एग्जामिनेशन स्टेट लेवल एग्जामिनेशन विच इज कंडक्टेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ केरला फॉर वेरियस वेरियस कॉलेजेज ऑल ओवर केरला ओके ऑलमोस्ट वन सिक्सटी कॉलेजेज आर देयर विच आर प्रोवाइडिंग एडमिशंस थ्रू कीम एंड इन ऑल दीज वन सिक्सटी कॉलेजेज देर आर अ टोटल ऑफ मोर देन फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड सीट्स means more than 48000 seats are there but it doesn't mean that all 48000 seats or all 160 colleges are very very decent few colleges are there which are really very decent and there are few seats so you have to compete very hard to get admission in those few seats which are really worth taking admission now let us move to the nri quota in keem examination so talking about the engineering courses uh, there is no such special reservation for nri candidates in keem examination means they are uh, considered as general candidates even they are not allowed to uh, take any reservations like sc st or obc type of reservation they are considered as general candidates and uh, uh, they can fight for the all india quota seats okay and uh, talking about the medical courses so in most of the private colleges uh, private medical colleges in kerala there are 15% seats reserved for the nri candidates okay uh, now uh, let me tell you some of the certificates which you require at the time of counseling to prove that you are a nri candidate so the first thing is the passport of the applicant means whosoever is applying for the examination his or her passport is compulsory okay the other thing is your parents passport or uh, and in some cases your grandparents passport is also asked okay the other thing is that certificate issued by embassy means indian embassy in which country you are residing the indian embassy there should issue you a certificate the other thing is a 12th mark sheet or grade sheet from your respective board in that country wherever you are residing and it should be uh, presented at the time of counseling so these are the general certificates which are required uh to, for an nri candidate to prove that he or she is a nri okay so before proceeding further in the video let me tell you about the nri ebook prepared by test prep card for nri students and you will get in it in the description of this video and it is going to be really helpful for all the nri students so you can uh, visit the description section of the video and you can download it uh for the information regarding nri candidate now this is the time to discuss nri eligibility in keem examination so the basic eligibility for nri is same as the other candidates but they should present their certificates as i have told you earlier which certificates you require but you are not entitled to claim any type of reservation in engineering courses this also i have told you earlier the other uh criteria is that you should be uh, of minimum 17 years of age okay the other thing is that you should have you passed your class 12th with an aggregate of 50% over in pcm physics chemistry and maths with 50% in maths separately means you should have 50% of marks in maths and 50% in overall pcm but uh, if some of you have no pcm means no chemistry uh, in your class 12th then your computer science marks will be considered if some of you uh, do not have chemistry and do not have computer science then your biotechnology marks are considered but if you do not have uh, chemistry you do not have computer science you do not have biotechnology then your biology marks are considered so these four are the order of the consideration of marks for your for uh, taking out your aggregate for the examination now let us move to the last topic of the video which is a really very important topic to be taken into consideration and it is the fee structure for nri candidates in keem examination means what fee you have to pay uh, yearly in the colleges which are accepting the scores of keem so there are generally two to three bodies which are conducting the counseling uh, under keem and under each conducting body there are several colleges and for each college the fee may vary so i will tell you an average of the fees 
so for an indian candidate means if he is a keralaite or non keralaite means he is belonging to kerala or he is from some other state the fees is 50000 per year means it is a annual fees but for nri candidates the fees can go up to 1.5 lakh and in some colleges it can go up to 2.2 lakh per annum so it is the general fees for engineering courses and for medical courses in most of the colleges the 5 year course fee is 25 lakh to 30 lakh rupees okay so this is the average of the fee in most of the colleges so i hope that the video is clear to you if you liked the video do like subscribe the channel for more such content and if you have any of the doubt regarding the video uh, in any of the topic then you can comment down or you can also contact us through the link given in the description of this video